Hello everyone. In this session, I'm going to show you the demo on BMate billing software. To give the introduction, BMate EVERP 9.9 .9 is an advanced inventory and accounting management software for any type of small, medium, and large business enterprise, which is easily adaptable in our day-to-day -day basis. So, as you can see, the shortcut of BMate here. Double-click on it. You can see the login screen. Over here, it's asking for the user ID and password option. As soon as you enter the user ID and password, you'll get the login button over here. So, this user ID and password option is given. Uh, as, uh, you, you'll have many employees in your shop. So, you'll have to block pay of the rights. You have to restrict the rights. Example, you'll have to restrict edit and delete rights for pay of the users. So, in this point of time, this login screen will help you with your own user ID and password. So that you can log in and the few blocks will be restricted as i'm using the admin login over here i click on login as soon as i click on login you can see best of solutions my company file is being loaded click on ok as you click on ok you can see the live alerts option over here what does this live alerts mean? You do not have to remember anything where which payment is to be done, how many items are in reorder level, or how many bills are being overdue. You just have to, you can see over here, the stock of 236 items have reached reorder level. So, double click on this. As soon as you double click on this, the reorder level report will be loaded in the same way. You can see the four checks post dated when you double click on this four checks which are post dated will give you the list of report the one of the speciality you can see as soon as you log in the screen for now going to purchase window uh, you can see the purchase option over here in the custom toolbar right hand side of your software so click on purchase the shortcut to key will be control p as soon as we click on control p you can see the purchase invoice is loaded so now i hit on add the shortcut of add is f5 click on f5 it will ask you for the party name party name is the supplier name from whom are you going to purchase so you can see my supplier list over here i have the supplier list already which is being entered if you do not have the supplier you can also create it over here so for example now i'm selecting my supplier as soon as i select my supplier it's asking for me to enter the supplier document number the supplier document number means whatever the bill number you are being produced in your purchase bill that bill number of purchase you have to enter in the supplier document number next comes the supplier document date supplier document date will be again the date provided in your purchase bill hit on enter it will give you the item search dialog box so here you can see the list of items you have entered in your software um, i go for the search uh, for example i have uh, the list of items i go for the search of chocolate okay so as soon as i hit search on chocolate the list of items under chocolate group or brand is being searched here i get my item amul bitter choco you can see the stock is over here is 41 okay whatever quantity you're going to purchase will be entered over here example you're um, purchasing from 15 quantity the rate will be asked here go for the rate option if you if the rate is already specified is correct you can proceed otherwise you'll also have the option of changing the rate over here you can change the rate over here hit on enter again you'll get uh, you'll be asked to select the next item so if you have the item in the name of star you can go for the star uh, search you get the list of items over here in the same way if you don't find your item in the search dialog box you can immediately create by giving the shortcut you have the shortcut of f3 okay so here when i hit on f3 you'll get the create new item window wherein you can immediately create your new item okay 
so here I create my item in the name of noodles so noodles item name is typed it's asking me to select the item group so item group will be select from my search option I select the option grocery items next is asking me to enter the brand if you want to enter the brand you can enter the brand or you can skip the option as well the next option is showing me to enter the tax rate for example I enter tax 18% over here and then I preferred for HFN code you can even enter the HFN code over here or you can skip the option for that you can enter it lately next I go for the MRP option here I am enter the MRP 100 next is asking me to enter the purchase rate and sales rate I enter the purchase rate over here whatever MRP is display I have entered it will be continued as sale rate select the option of sale rate is already taken as MRP if you want to change the MRP I will have failed it you can change it over here And then I have the option of save. So I hit on save. As soon as the save enter is selected, you can see the item is already selected in my grid. So the noodles is selected. Whatever quantity you're going to purchase, enter the quantity over here. Next, enter the rate. And then you can see the stock. It's be uh, you can see the present stock before saving the. bill so as soon as you see i save the bill over here i hit on save option that is f8 so as soon as i select the save option you can see the stock gets variated the stock gets variated as well as i have two types of tax percentage one is 28 percent and one more is 18 percent so the stock gets variated and um, the tax percentage by itself gets divided to CGFT 9%, FGFT 9%, as well as CGFT 14%, FGFT 14% for 18 28 percentage of tax. This is how you enter the purchase bill. You can see the grand total over here. It's a very simple option you can use for the purchase bill. Uh, as I'm done with my purchase, I go for the sales option. To go for the sales, have the shortcut key control s you also have the sales option in the right hand side of the custom toolbar click on sales so i click on sales you can see the sales window is loaded it's asking for the party name so if you are doing the bill in the cash then the party name will be cash itself hit on enter select the item item whichever you are going to uh, fail. I will select the same item which I have uh, chosen in purchase. So here I will select the item Amul Bitter Choco. Enter the quantity over here. If at all you want to change the rate you can change the rate over here as well. I select one more item. Enter the quantity. Enter the rate. And then you have the shortcut F8. As soon as you hit the shortcut F8. You can see the bill gets saved. You can see the grand total. And as soon as you save the bill, you can see the preview option of the print over here. So, uh, you have the various options. Uh, for example, you see the uh, RTF mode. When you click on the uh, 3 inch RTF mode, the 3 inch bill design will be loaded. In the same way, we have the option for 4x6 four four, four dot matrix printer as well, or any kind of A4 or A55, any kind of customized invoice will be designed for you. In the same way, if you want to do the credit sales in the same window, you can do the credit sales as well. Credit sales in the means, you know, uh, who will be paying money later, you know. Uh, so, when you're doing the credit sales, in the same way, you have to right click on add in the place of party name. In place of cash, you have to select the uh, select the per, uh, person who is going to purchase. So select the per, uh, customer from the left. Hit on enter. Select the item. 
enter the quantity enter the rate in the same way save the uh, click on save button the bill gets saved so this is how you do credit sales we have also one more uh, fail screen option that is pause screen you can see the pause option over here when I click on this pause screen you can see my point of sale screen is loaded so you have the add option click on add this point of sale screen is used in supermarkets for the speed billing uh, so you just have to scan the barcode of the item the item gets uh, gets followed up by the grid and you can even save the bill immediately so I scan my item enter the quantity by default the quantity will be loaded if you enter if you want to enter the one more quantity go on and uh, scanning the barcode and you have the option of f8 that is function f8 okay you'll be asked for the party details if you have the membership number you can enter the membership number or you can skip as well then you get the payment detail window in the payment detail window you can see the option of cash card check coupon so you can see your bill amount over here the bill amount if the person is going to pay you the exactly bill amount you can pay uh, enter the bill amount in cash if he's paying you by cash if at all he's giving you thousand rupees and the bill amount of 600 enter the thousand rupees in your cash you can see the paid amount of thousand the balance will be 400 you'll have to pay him 400 rupees so it will be shown you on the screen itself you have the save option click on save that is function f8 the bill will be loaded saved and immediately you'll get the print so this is how the pause billing can be done This is all about the power screen. Now coming to ref receipt and payment option. So, when do you do the receipt? Receipt is done uh, for the person who, for whom you have done the credit sales. Uh, in the meaning, who have not done you the payment immediately as soon as we uh, read the bill. So, when he gives the payment, you will enter the receipt. So you have the receipt over here go for the account option you have the receipt option so go for the receipt click on add after click on add you have the option of cash or bank so if the person is paying you by cash select cash option if the person is paying you by bank select the bank option enter the amount over here select the party who is giving you the amount for the party will be loaded over here and immediately you have the function f8 option to save the receipt this is how you do the receipt option in the same screen you have the payment option as well you can do the payment option for your suppliers when you are doing the payment at the end of the day what do you want the reports so you have the report option in your custom tool but the shortcut is over here reports there are section wise reports uh, in a software you can see the accounting reports over here and then we have the stock report we have the inventory reports and there are other reports as well so on the daily basis you will need uh, the daily sales report daily purchase and sales report so you get the option of daily purchase and sales report you have this option of chalan invoice document list detailed report go for this by default you'll get your daily sales report in this so whatever fields you have done you get it over here in the virtual type you get the option of selecting the purchase as well if you want to see the purchase or sale details of this month you have the option of selecting the period over here you can select today yesterday or any month over here and click on ok whatever filters you have given the reports will be loaded this is all about the daily sales report then i have the account statement report uh, account statement report is used uh, particularly if you want uh, you know uh, for the particular account statement of per, uh, party you want to see for go for the select the option over here select the party as soon as the party is selected you can see by default in today's date whatever transaction has been done for the party and then even here you can select the period the period over here you can select for this month this year any date you want to change for you can change it over here this is all about the account statement report
then i go for the stock register report wherein you can see what of the total closing balance opening balance closing stock value opening stock value of particular items for which date which stock has been purchased and sold this is about the stock register report i come for the ta tax report so you can see the tax reports over here with the summary detail gft r1 report gft r2 report gft r3 b report any of the tax reports will be we we will over here for the related videos you can see on our channel any clarification we can contact our customer care 8720 33 66 thank you